Now to a story you will only see on two. We are getting a clearer picture of what led to Bobby Barrick's arrest in McCurtain County. Barrick died in a hospital several days later and his family has since filed a $2 million wrongful death lawsuit claiming excessive force caused his death. We showed you a short clip released last week and tonight we have obtained additional body camera footage. As always, videos like this are hard to watch. This is the moment that McCurtain County deputies arrived to Lori's Corner Store in Eagle Town in March of 2022. Well, this is interesting. Bobby Barrick reportedly hogtied by citizens trying to get him under control. He's immediately handcuffed, untied by deputies. Deputy Matt Kasbaum calls for tribal backup because they discover a Choctaw card. Also, if you will, contact EMS. Stop. Please don't. Don't kill me. Witnesses say Barrick had been screaming, don't kill me, as soon as someone unknown had dropped him off at that store. Surveillance video shows contractors had been there working. Witnesses say Barrick caused a scene, tried to get into others' cars, and broke the glass from the front door. He grabbed her level, bow! Deputies walk him to the patrol truck. According to this video, he's being placed there to wait for EMS. While Barrick is still in the patrol truck, deputies are asking witnesses to fill out statements. A game warden arrives on scene. They note they've had run-ins with him. Bobby Barrick. Who? Bobby Barrick. Yep. Oh, okay. This man says he's a part-time firefighter who heard about the commotion and stopped by to see if he could help. He's not listed in the lawsuit. As the crowd seemingly continues to wait for EMS, this is where one deputy's body cam, for an unexplained reason, is turned off. From a second body camera, we see the EMS van. As deputies try to get Barrick out of the truck, a struggle ensues, and this body camera turns off. The suit claims deputies were instructed to turn off cameras. Deputy Kasbaum claims this camera was deactivated due to the struggle. The lawsuit claims after videos are off, deputies use tasers and neck restraint, restricting his breath. An EMT report said Barrick began to have a seizure. The lawsuit claims after Barrick was airlifted to a Texas hospital, no follow-up investigation took place. That lawsuit is filed against the McCurtain County Sheriff, Board of County Commissioners, three deputies, and the game warden. This afternoon, I obtained an email from attorneys representing McCurtain County. It says that the Sheriff's Office does not issue or train deputies on tasers. I also spoke with Choctaw Tribal Police. A spokesperson told me that Barrick had been transported by the time they arrived there and no investigation on their part took place.